Well, it's fair to say ISIS is the new global gold standard for awfulness, and they're indeed awful. Combine the Orlando, San Bernardino, and Chattanooga terror attacks, and the group is responsible for at least 68 deaths here in the U.S. over just the past three years, and that's bad. On the other hand, it's nothing compared to MS-13. That organization, a mostly immigrant street gang, is a far greater threat to your life than ISIS is. It's the numbers. And it's not just the bodies pile up in smaller numbers, and the coverage isn't as splashy when they're covered at all, because often they're not. Beside the four killings you just heard about in New York today, there's Raymond Wood. He's the Lynchburg teenager, apparently murdered and left by the side of the road two weeks ago by a group of MS-13 members. All of them were here illegally, by the way. There's Kayla Cuevas and Nisa Mickens, a pair of teenage girls butchered with machetes by MS-13. They were walking home from school in Brentwood, New York. We could go on and on and on, and in future editions of the show, we will. But killing is not the end of the problem with MS-13. Its members have been caught running child prostitution rings. They've been contacted by Mexican drug cartels and paid to run tortured operations. And, of course, they engage in the usual extortion, drug trafficking, and human smuggling. But unlike ISIS, MS-13 makes it hard to live in certain neighborhoods here in this country. Also unlike ISIS, there are a lot of them. ISIS may have significant passive support in the U.S., and a lot of us suspect it does. But true active ISIS members, pretty small, maybe a few hundred at most. MS-13, by contrast, has at least 6,000 members, according to the government, in this country. And they're supported by more than 30,000 abroad. Yes, abroad, because MS-13 is fundamentally a foreign threat. Now, the administration is using a lot of firepower to defeat insurgents in the Middle East right now, and good for them. But what about the insurgency right down the road from you here in America? Because that's exactly what it is.